All right, multiplication with a multiple of a base number. So here in our first example, we have 34 times 33. Now, normally, if we're doing multiplication near base number, uh, we write down the base. So in this case, we're using base number 30. Okay, normally our base numbers are a 1 followed by any number of zeros, so 10, 100, 1,000. But in this case, we are working with a multiple of a base. And what I mean by multiple is just a base number multiplied by a number. So, you know, 10 times 3, that gives us 30. So 30 is a multiple of the base number 10. So we go about doing this the same way that we do our multiplication here, base numbers. We're going to say 34 is plus 4 away from 30. And 33 is plus 3 away from 30. Okay, our answer comes in two parts, left hand, left hand side right hand side. Okay, for our left hand side we either add 4, we have a positive, so we add 4 to 33, or we add positive 3 to 34. Either way we get the same number, we get 37. And then for our right hand side we multiply these deficiencies together. Now remember that however many zeros are in the base that we're working with, that's how many digits are allowed in the right hand side. So in this case, we're only allowed one digit in the right-hand side. Okay, so 4 times 3 gives us 12. We only have room for one digit. So we're going to write it like this, a small 1 and a big 2. Okay, that's our number 12, because this 1 has to carry over. But before we carry over this 1, we need to multiply this number here by 3. Okay, since we're using a multiple of a base 30, we need to multiply the left-hand side by 3 before we could carry this 1 over. Okay, so think in your mind, 37 times 3. Okay, 3 times 30 gives us 90. 3 times 7 gives us 21. Okay, you're doing this in your mind. 3 times 30 gives us 90. 3 times 7 gives us 21. So then we add those together, we get 111. Okay, now at this point we could carry this 1 over, so we get our answer as 1,122. Okay, so let's do another example. Let's do this example over here, 26 times 25. I'm going to move this up just a little bit so we can have room to work. So here we're working off of base number 20. Okay, 26 is plus 6 away from 20, and 25 is plus 5 away from 20. So for our left-hand side, we either add 6 to 25 or add 5 to 26. Either way, we get 31. And for our right-hand side, we multiply the deficiencies. 6 times 5. Once again, we only have one zero. We only have one zero in our base, so we're only allowed one digit in the right-hand side. So we're going to write 30 like this, small 3 and a big 0, because that 3 is going to have to carry over. But before we do our carries, we need to... Remember what our base, we're working off of base 20, so we need to multiply 31 by 2. Okay, 31 times 2 gives us 62, and then we still have this 30 we have written like this. Now we could carry the 3 over. Okay, now at this point we could carry this 3 over. So we get our answer is 650. Okay, let's work on our next problem. Here we're working off of base 60. It's a multiple of base 10. 64 is plus 4 away from 60. 62 is plus 2 away from 60. So for our left-hand side, we get 66. For our right-hand side, we get 8. Okay, 4 times 2 gives us 8. Now, to complete this problem, we have to multiply the left-hand side by 6. Since we're saying this multiple of base 10, base 10 times 6 gives us 60, so we have to multiply the left-hand side by 6. Okay, so using, using our, our mental arithmetic, 66 times 6, well, 60 times 6 gives us 360. 6 times 6 gives us 36. So 360 plus 36 gives us 300, 396. So we get our final answer, 3,968. Okay, so here we have 53 times 47. So we have one number above a base, and one's kind of below it. 
here we're going to work off a of base 50. So we say 53 is plus 3 away from 50, and 47 is minus 3 away from 50. Okay, now to do our left-hand side, we either add 3 to 47, or we subtract 3 from 53. Either way, we get 50. And for our right-hand side, positive 3 times negative 3 gives us a negative 9. So we're going to write it like this, 9 bar. Okay, now for our left-hand side to complete this, uh, we have to multiply the left-hand side. We have to multiply it by 5 since we're working off a of base 50. So 50 times 5, that gives us 250. Okay, then we have 9 bar. So we get 250 and 9 bar. Okay, now to complete this, we're going to do our formula all from 9, last from 10. To do that, you subtract 1, so we get 249, and then 10 minus 9 gives us 1. So here's our final answer, 2,491. And what I did is I did the formula all from 9, last from 10. And if you remember all from 9, last from 10, if you have a number by itself, that that's going to be your last from 10. Okay, so 10 minus 9 gives us 1. So our final answer here we have 2,491. Okay, so here we have 204 times 198. So now we're going to work off the multiple of the base, 200. 200 is a multiple of 100. Okay, so to do this, we're going to say 4 is plus 0, 04 away from 200, and 198 is minus 2 away from 200. So for our left-hand side, 204 minus 2, that gives us 202. For our right-hand side, now remember, for the right-hand side, however many zeros are in our base, that's how many digits are allowed in the right-hand side. So we're allowed two digits here. So 4 times negative 2 gives us negative 8. So we're going to write it like this. 0, 8 bar. That's our negative 8. Okay, before we could finish this problem, we have to take our left-hand side, multiply it by 2. So 202 times 2 gives us 404. We have that 0, 8 with the bar over it. Now to complete this, to complete this, we're going to do our all from 9, last from 10. So there's our 9, here's our last from 10. Okay, to do all from 9, last from 10, you subtract 1 from 404. Okay, that's going to give us 403. 9 minus 0 is 9, and 10 minus 8 is 2. So here's our answer. Okay, here once again, we're working off of a base of a multiple, multiple of a base. So we're working off of 300, which is a multiple of 100. So 299, we're going to say that's minus 1 away from 300. 293, we're going to say that's minus 7 away from 300. So for our left-hand side, 293 minus 1, that gives us 292. For our right-hand side, Negative 1 times negative 7 gives us a positive 7. Remember, we need two digits in our right-hand side. So we're going to say we're going to write the number 7 like this. Now to complete this, we need to take our left-hand side and multiply it by 3. So we have 292 times 3. Okay, 2 times 3, that gives us 6. 3 times 9 gives us 27. And 3 times 2 gives us 6. Now, doing our carries, we get 876. So for our left-hand side, we have 876 and 07. So here's our answer. Okay, this was a short video on how to do multiplication uh, with a multiple of a base number. I want to thank you for watching. Please press the like button down below. Leave a comment. And if you like these type of videos, simply subscribe for more. Thank you.